who um, bend on um, causing havoc to their partners. I actually don't understand why you should take your girlfriend's life, no matter the conditions. I have done a lot of relationship topics and I have said on several occasions that no matter the situation, I always insist, no matter the, the situation, walk out of the relationship. Do not harm your partner because you will end up, you will end up getting yourself into trouble. I said this in one of my topics that I tweeted some time that do not invest in relationship. Do not invest in women. Invest in yourself. And everybody will attest to me on that very topic. I made mention that when you don't do that, and you rely so much on your girlfriend, you trust your girlfriend so much that you are able to do everything humanly possible for her to be happy. And then the unexpected happen. Things like this will, will eventually happen. And I said it. I said it on in one of that my topic. If you want, go into my go to my YouTube channel and check one of my related my um, relationship issues. You will find this topic there that do not invest in women, but rather invest in yourself. Because when you invest in women, the end result will always give you trouble. The end result is always a disaster. And I am so 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 sad that upon all the the messages that we've been sending, we've been taking all our time to talk about this issue. People still don't listen. Look at the mess you caused to yourself. I'm talking about the murder case between a young guy, two young couple, one police constable, Sandra Apia. Is that the name? It's, 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 it's unheard of. Why should you kill your partner because of jealousy? I, I have always insisted that when you are not happy in a relationship, walk out quietly to avoid putting yourself in trouble. Walk out quietly to avoid harming yourself. Walk out quietly to avoid finding problem with the law. But we say all these things here, but people will not listen. People will take it as if we are here singing, as if we don't have work doing. That is what we are doing here. Look at the mess this guy has um, caused to himself. The father what about the parents of the girl? This is a girl who was in the police service. You have terminated the benefits that the parents were going to get from this um, their daughter. You as a man, your parents is, is also going to suffer because you have now become a fugitive. And uh, like I always said, one thing I never want in my life that I don't ever want to happen to me is running away from the law. Until you find yourself against the law, that is when you know that freedom is more important than anything in life. And remember, I tweeted a topic about freedom. If you want, go and check it out. I said so many things about being, um, being free. Be able to go to wherever you are. Even if you don't have money, even if you are not rich and you have your freedom, that you can move to any place you want. You can come home anytime you want. You can eat anytime you want. Master, you have to thank God. Because freedom is not easy when you are a fugitive, when you are running away from the law. Where are you running to? This particular guy, where is he running to? Where is he running to? The information is all over. The country. I'm sure Interpol is even will be notified. So where we transit? Where are you going to pass and go to another country? Is it Togo? Is it Burkina Faso? Where are you going to pass? Because even through, through, are you going to walk? You are going to pass through. You are going to either use a vehicle or whatever. And once you are about to enter the car, no matter how you disguise yourself, they will find you. The police will be on the road and they will be looking out for you. Your picture is already on in the internet. Everybody has seen your picture. Even me, as I'm sitting here, I've seen your picture. And if I've seen you, I, I, I see you somewhere, I'll be able to recognize you. Why do we have to, to put ourselves in these situations? 
the young guys of today, why do you want us, why do you always put yourself in this dangerous situation? You are a young guy coming up with a lot of life before you. Why do you have to allow jealousy to do the unthinkable? If you look at most of my topics I treat on relationship, you would think that I'm a suicide or you would think that I have other eyes. But it is common sense. It is common sense. When I talk about relationship issues and I'm begging people that when you are not happy in a relationship, work out. Because I always know the end result. And when I'm saying that, do not invest everything you have into a woman. Because at the end of the day, things might turn the other way around. People will not listen. I remember saying that when you invest your money in landed properties, when you invest your money in properties that will grow, put your money in bank and get interest, it is better than putting yourself, putting money in a woman. It is better than investing in women. I said it. Women that are not your wives. I said it because I said only landed properties don't change their minds. Only landed properties don't change their minds. But human beings are bound to change their mind at any time. I have said this on several occasions. And this is what is happening. You can go and invest so much money. Buy clothes. Buy shoes. Buy whatever you want and give it to a lady. Master, that cannot keep him for her. Cannot keep her with you. If care is not taken. Because there is someone there who can give more than what you can give. It is so sad that the youth of today are killing their partners when the things when they suspect her of cheating another man. This is what they do. This year alone, I can count about five murder cases involving young guys and their girlfriends. Why? Why? Civil society. Religious leaders, elders in society, parents must sit down with their children and let them understand the dangers involved. The dangers involved if you love with your heart. It is very, very bad and sad for people to always forget this. The love might be sweet. But always remember that, like I said, human beings change. Human beings change. Human beings change. And we have to be careful when we are dealing with human beings. We have to be very, very careful, especially women. Let's be careful. I've been saying this all the time because the end result is always a disaster. The end result is always a mess. The end result is always a problem now when you are caught you've committed murder so when you are caught life imprisonment if you are not lucky and the, the judge is a lady you can sentence you to death I, mean, I know if you are not lucky and the judge is a lady she can easily sentence you to death just five seconds of rage just five seconds of temper has cost you your whole life what life is this? Why the young guys of today cannot think that love is the only thing that they survive on? Relationship is the only thing they survive on. Look for money. Stop wasting your hard earned currencies on women because at the end of the day, this money that you are spending on them will send you in jail, will send you to jail, will send you to trouble, will send you to your grave. How can you kill a woman, a woman because of jealousy, because you are suspecting her? I always said, and I keep emphasizing that, when you suspect your lover chasing another person, know that, and you have done everything to resolve the issue, and it is not working. Out, out quietly, in peace. 
But what do we see? What do we see in in the in the second of rage, in the second of temper, in the second of, of hot argument? You've caused your whole life. How long can you run? 